Welcome to the Cryptonomatron, and today we're gonna to have a quick look at the markets and also go through some of the latest news stories uh, affecting cryptocurrency. The first one I'm gonna discuss is Mt. Gox bankruptcy. Mark Carpellis, the man behind Mt. Gox when it went down. Now, if you don't know about Mt. Gox, it was the um, a big exchange at the time that went down with, a, it allegedly got hacked and went down taking a lot of people's Bitcoin assets with it. Um, they are currently facing lawsuits from some of the creditors and also um, uh, CoinLab as well, who assert a 75 million US dollar claim against them. And Mark Carpelli's the man behind it, is looking to revive it, surprisingly enough. And he wants 245 million, or he says he needs 245 million US dollars to um, cover all the expenses. These 175 million for security, 20 million for operating expenses, 10 million for compliance in the US, 1 million towards compliance in Europe, 35 million is cash flow, 4 million towards campaigning to creditors to actually accomplish all of this, including the legal costs. That's a drop in the ocean, isn't it? Yes, of course it is. So um, uh, he's looking to. Um, basically get it up and running again. He, he says that they could do it on 70 million if the uncooperative, uncooperative creditors sorry, uh, uh, decided to forego what they're owed, uh, which I don't think will happen. And then here he says, I was hoping you, dear reader, could help. So if anybody's got 245 million US dollars sitting around and they want to purchase Mt. Gox, you can drop him an email. I'm gonna get onto him later on this afternoon. I've got that amount sitting in my bank account, just burning a hole in my pocket. But the way he's gonna try and do it is he's gonna offer the rights to Mt. Gox shares, and um, that's gonna be difficult. The other way, surprise, surprise, he's gonna try and launch an ICO to hypothetically revive it. Good luck, Mark, you're gonna need it. So next, it was the uh, failed Segwit 2X fork yesterday, which um, stuck at, uh, uh, at block number 494,782 and didn't process any data. And we were quite lucky that um, there was not consensus on this as um, it would have actually led us into a brick wall. So if you didn't hear, Segwit2x was um, meant to be canceled. All the main backers of it uh, decided to um, withdraw their support for it due to the lack of consensus among the Bitcoin uh, development community and it was effectively abandoned but some um, some developers continued uh, rogue developers if you like but due to an error in the coding it failed so um, it's dead in the water now next thing on the agenda neo pump um, we can see here there was a little uh, um, note or news letter in Chinese release saying watch for news in three days from the NEO development team and this led to NEO getting a, a little bit of a pump I'll just go back and it's on reddit there we are and uh, the translation was moving forward, never stopping. When you have read this, you are one with Neo. Let's change the world together. Three days to an announcement, three lifetimes of blessing. Typical gobbledygook. Um, you know, translations are never uh, that accurate between Mandarin and, and uh, English, are they? Or vice versa. But um, the crux of the matter is there's a lot of rumors floating around that Neo will be uh, allowed by the Chinese authorities to uh, support. ICOs as an ICO platform, what it's designed for, and therefore Chinese, the Chinese government will effectively unban initial coin offerings, or to some degree anyway. So it's just a rumor, nothing's confirmed at the moment, we wait for the news, but obviously this is pushing NEO up. Um, NEO hit almost $40 yesterday, and is a, a, a good safe bet, I think, for three figures in the longer term. So the next one, um, is the Coinbase have announced an asset custody system for institutions. So if they want to invest in uh, digital currencies or digital assets, Coinbase will operate it and take care of it, taking their um, expertise in the field and implementing financial control. So, you know, the institutions or, the, or big investors who um, rightfully think that cryptocurrency is a bit wild west at the moment, it still is, it's a very new thing to everybody, to most people anyway, they're going to put financial controls on it and secure storage. So that's interesting and that's a very big news article. 
as we can see there, uh, the Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong says over 100 hedge funds have been created in the past year exclusively to trade digital currency. By some estimates, there's 10 billion um, of institutional money waiting on the sidelines to get in. That is fantastic. So. Um, if you watch my videos before, we have discussed that institutional money will come, and it's going to um, it's going to come soon now. And uh, we're go we're going to see mass adoption of a lot of a lot of cryptocurrencies, um, not least of all uh, ones that can be used in the real world. So Coinbase supporting, which is fantastic. Um, in a related article, um, just wait for this to load. Von Tobel, the Swiss bank, will start trading Switzerland's uh, uh, mini futures to short Bitcoin, uh, giving investors a tool to bet against the value of the volatile cryptocurrency. Now, as institutional money comes in, the um, a likelihood of large gains, large quick gains and volatility will obviously decrease. But Bitcoin futures are available. Von Tobel uh, now offering the Bitcoin futures, which is basically a, a license to bet on the, on the future price, much like um, uh, oil prices and everything else, gold prices. You can bet on it, see where it's going to go, and there's big money to um, to hedge your positions. So there we are, Von Tobel, big Swiss bank, more mainstream adoption. Next big news yesterday was the um, Invest Feed announcement and imp implementation of tipping on their platform. As you can see here, the tip button is now enabled for those that have um, a ERC20 com compliant wallets. If they've put their wallet address onto the Invest Feed platform, they can now receive and give tips to other users, which is fantastic. I really like Invest Feed at the moment. I'm starting to use it more and more now. I believe that it's it's like a social media. If you don't know about it, it's a social media for cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. And those of us that are interested in it, it's our own little corner of the world where we can go and talk about it without people spamming about um, you know, uh, the other stuff you see on the other social media like Facebook and everything. So a dedicated area for us to go to discuss crypto and you can now tip people a little bit of invest feed, which is worth around six and a half cents today, I believe for one invest feed, one IFT. And it rose slightly on this news yesterday. So another news article was um, Power Ledger getting an eight million um, uh, grant uh, to fund some uh, renewable energy projects in Perth. So the Australian government announced they will provide 2.57 million in a grant for funding in, in Frio, in Perth, and 5.68 million will be funded through the partners, universities, and Power Ledger themselves. Now, what the fund's for, they're gonna actually um, implement a system using blockchain technology, solar plants, rooftop solar panels, and batteries, which is the, um, renewable power sharing idea on the blockchain that um, Power Ledger have uh, dedicated their uh, their business model to. So very interesting and something to look forward to. Again, Power Ledger is going to be very big. They're a real company. They've got a real world use and they're actively out there building their infrastructure at the moment. The other news today, um, the Quantstamp ICO, Quantstamp token sale, oversubscribed by $9.5 million, massive demand for it. And it was my pick, uh, one of my picks for November uh, 2017 for ICOs, I picked five, Quantstamp was among them. It's a security um, for Ethereum uh, smart contracts. They have a, a automated and a manual system for checking errors in the smart contracts. And it's a fantastic ICO, really well supported. They had a, a proof of care um, implementation for the ICO to get on in, in the pre-sale, which meant you had to actually go and spread the word on social media, uh, which was very good. It, it put word of mouth around, and of course it's very busy. As we can see there, the crowd sale is now on, general crowd sale, but you've got limited time to participate still. The um, crowd sale is almost sold out. It's 81% complete, so I don't think it'll last more than another day or so. So if you've not yet got in on it and you're interested in investing, again, this is not investment advice, but it's a definitely it's definitely a good project and something you should be looking at if you've um, if you're interested in investing. Last of all, today on the news front. And I'm here talking with Mike Novogratz. He is the CEO of Galaxy Investment Partners, and we're here to talk about Bitcoin. 
Yes, Mike Novogratz says um, Bitcoin will hit $20,000 by December next year. Now, personally, I think that's a bit of a conservative estimate. I think it may actually go higher. The, the, the rates of growth in Bitcoin at the moment and with the institutional money coming in mean it's going to go parabolic next year, I think. Once everybody tries to get in, there'll be this fear of missing out that, you know, when it goes past the $10,000, it's a psychological barrier. Once it goes past that, that um, amount, people are gonna then think, I need to get into it now or I'm never gonna be able to afford to get into it. And th there will be a lot of institutional money coming in. A lot of um, smaller investors, personal investors, will try and get in at the last minute because there'll be fear of missing out. So uh, that's a conservative estimate, but he knows what he's talking about. He's got billions invested in uh, cryptocurrencies, and he's somebody you should definitely listen to if you um, if you're following the uh, the news. He's also invested in Power Ledger, by the way, just as an aside. So let's take a quick look at the markets today. See what's going on. Incredible market cap now at 230 billion dollars. Incredible amounts. Bitcoin continues to dominate with uh, 50, just a tad over 50, 56 percent. Uh, it's retracted slightly, Bitcoin, with an all-time high of around eight thousand dollars. It's pulled back slightly to seven thousand seven hundred and fifty, uh, with large volume of almost five billion going through it in the last twenty-four hours. Ethereum continues to hover around three hundred, three hundred and thirty dollar mark. Uh, Ripple come back down after the news that American Express were going to adopt the Ripple. Um, a blockchain protocols for their implementation. It had a little um, rise on that good news, but now it's retracted slightly. <clears throat> Neo, as we said, going to touch $40, I think, on that news, and the news hasn't even be re been released yet. So another couple of days of pump, I think, for Neo, perhaps. Let's look down the list. Uh, Lisk, uh, doing very well. It's actually retracted again. It, it went over $10 and pulled back, which was interesting. Uh, eight share moving up the rankings there with the um, market cap getting close to a billion dollars. Populous has been on a good run since its ICO. A lot of interest in that. And considering I think it's only available on um, Ether Delta, that's exceptional, exceptional growth. So a lot of interest in Populous, one I've missed out on unfortunately. 10x really hasn't fulfilled its promise in uh, October or November. We thought we'd see a lot of uh, bigger growth for that, but it has been very, very subdued, unfortunately. Walton, under $5 now, an absolute bargain. I noticed that um, Michael from Box Mining was just recently over at the Walton chain facility doing a, uh, a little expose on, on their system, their, uh, their project. Very interesting, I suggest you go over to Michael's channel. It's linked on my, my homepage here, so if you wanna go over, um, please go and watch that, it's very interesting indeed. Let's have a look, Civic. Civic at a very good price, under 30 cents. I get interested in Civic every time it goes under 30 cents. Uh, market cap currently under $100 million. Um, and you know, I, I've got a feeling that Civic is very undervalued at the moment. I, I'm taking a, a very close look at that and I may add more Civic to my portfolio in the near future. Uh, Bitcoin's just retracting slightly after its uh, pump up to $1.40 there or thereabouts. Interesting, they're gonna release their universal wallet soon and their platform uh, as uh, debuted by Superman. Uh, their platform allows for um, analytics and um, a, a, you know you, they have a, 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 a it's in beta at the moment it's a it's a, a trading platform and will allow you to uh, conduct some analysis on your favorite cryptos and it looks very very interesting and um, superman's featured it on his channel on numerous occasions hence the power uh, hence the rise in bitcoins up to 140. It's retracting slightly, but there's still a long way to play in bitcoins, I believe. Power Ledger reacting on the good news yesterday, went up to 29.30 cents last night, now retracting a little bit. Um, let's go down, see what else is happening. Not a lot. Open Trading Network falling back now after initial pump. And nothing else really of note. B3 coin, a lot of people talking about that, taking a massive hit. I think B3 coin's one for the longer term with the master nodes. So let's see what's been going on as far as the gainers and losers are concerned. 
PayPay recently off uh, ICO there, showing some some uh, gains, 50%. Very interesting. Neo and Gas in the top 30. That's also interesting. I expect them to stay there for another couple of days. Power Ledger also edging in, following up. And looking down the list, Genesis Vision taking a bit of a hit. That's just come off ICO. Might be a good time to buy on the dip if you're interested in GVT. Low market cap at the moment and low circulating supply. I mean, that's one to watch for the future. Block Mason Credit Protocol, again, low market cap. Another one to watch for the future. Always buy on the dip, guys. If you're looking to get into something and you missed out, um, it's always good to see it in the red and then position yourself accordingly. So to finish off, we'll have a look at the recently added coins. As we can see, Arium coming off ICO, Papex 2. Everything seems to be in the red when it comes off um, ICO and that's a good opportunity to pick up stuff you missed out early before it has any pump. As we can see, Genesis Vision, as I've said, uh, circulating supply, 3.7 million. The price, $2. Bargain at the moment, down 30%. I might pick some of that up myself. Decision Token, another one I've had my eye on, is down 20%. Very nice. So there we are, guys. We'll finish that up for today. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'll be back later on. I'm going to do another ICO review, I think, today. This ICO is coming out quicker than I can review them. Several every day. So I'll try and keep up with the ones that interest me, the ones that are going to interest you. So if you like the video, please like, please subscribe. Let's make the channel grow. And I'll be back later on. For, for now, peace out.